Hi friends, welcome back to Curious Web channel. This is Dr. Mohsena. In today's video, we will learn about a small topic. That is one disease, a bacterial condition in equine. It is glasses disease. Coming to the etiology, Haemophilus parasoids, a gram-negative pleomorphic bacterium of the family Pastoralaceae is the causative agent of this disease. So, Haemophilus parasoids is a bacterial disease, bacteria causing the glasses disease. This is a gram-negative pleomorphic bacteria of the family Pastoralaceae. Then the morbidity rate uh, is very high, 50 to 75 percentage, whereas the mortality rate is only 10 percentage. Then coming to the clinical findings. Piglets of 2 weeks to 4 months are mostly susceptible for this disease. And the typical signs are shifting leg lameness, warm swollen joints in all legs, high temperature, high fever of 107 degree Fahrenheit, dyspnea, neurologic signs and seizures. In paracute cases, there will be sudden death without any clinical findings. So this is a piglet died of glasses disease. This is a paracute condition and there is no clinical findings. Let's see what are the lesions found in necropsy. And this is the most important part. Fibrinopurulent pleuritis, craniovendral consolidation of lungs, that is catarrhal purulent bronchopneumonia, fibrinopurulent peritonitis, fibrinous polycirrhositis, arthritis and meningitis. Let's see one by one. One is fibrinopurulent peritonitis. This is the picture of fibrinopurulent peritonitis. You can see the thickened part covering the uh, organs of uh, organs of the abdominal cavity. The next is polycirrhositis. That is inflammation of cirrhosa all over the body polycirrhositis this picture shows polycirrhositis cirrhosal inflammation next one is craniovendral consolidation of lungs that is catarrhal purulent bronchopneumonia In this picture, you can see the craniovendral consolidation of lungs. It is marked with an arrow mark. Next one is arthritis. Then fibrino, fibrinous pleuropneumonia. This picture shows fibrinous pleuropneumonia. You can see the thickened pleura here. And next one is meningitis. Meningitis is usually responsible for neurologic signs and seizures. So these postmortem lesions are very important in the diagnosis of glasses disease. Then paracute disease. Lesions are petechiae in some tissues with no gross lesions observed. Histologically, septicemia like microscopic lesions such as disseminated intravascular coagulation, DIC and microhemorrhages and increased fluid in thoracic and abdominal cavities without the presence of fibrin. So this picture shows the increased fluid in the thoracic and abdominal cavities. Then coming to the diagnosis. Observation of characteristic clinical signs and lesions. Then detection of hemophilus parasoids in affected swine by isolation. 
molecular methods such as PCR are used for this. Then coming to the treatment, the uh, many antibiotics are found to be successful in treating this disease, synthetic penicillin, ceftiofor, ampicillin and many other uh, antibiotics including sulfonamides. Coming to control, either commercial or autogenous vaccines can be used to control Haemophilus parasoids infection although their efficacy has been variable. The broad range of potentially pathogenic serovas and genotypes has impaired the development of universal vaccine for this disease. So that's all about uh, glasses disease. I discussed only the key points as, uh, I, uh, as in every video. So if you find this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends, comment your suggestions. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you won't miss any video from my channel. I will be uploading at least one video every week. So see you soon with another video. Thank you.